Well, you probably played it in gym class and on the playground, and there are even adult leagues that exist today. But a group of educators say that dodgeball in schools is harmful. A trio of professors are giving a presentation in Vancouver this week stating that dodgeball reinforces oppression. Players in the game throw the ball, hoping to hit others who don't get out of the way in time, and that eliminates them from play. Joining me now is one of those educators, David Burns. He's also a professor of educational studies at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. Good morning, David. Glad you could be with us. I'm glad to be here. Thanks. So what is it about dodgeball that is so concerning to you? Well, I think you need to start with games in general in school. When you play a game in a school, rather than simply playing it at home with your friends or something like that, we're doing that for a particular educational reason, and we really need to know what that reason is. So in the case of something like dodgeball, we need to ask what kind of practice students are receiving in how to behave. One of the ways that you can think about this is that if someone's going to be a good person when they get older, to have the kind of character that we want them to have as healthy, productive, and helpful adults, they need to have practice when they're young and in school exhibiting those characteristics. So if we want them to be empathetic, we need to give them a chance to be empathetic in school, which is why a lot of schools have kids take care of small pets or rabbits or things like that to practice caring for things. And dodgeball, in most of its iterations, it reinforces a lot of those things that we say we don't want. So let me just say what I think you're saying. Are you telling us that people that throw the ball and try to get someone eliminated may grow up to be, you know, unpleasant, unsuccessful, <laughs> not so nice adults? Well, it, unsuccessful, I think, is taking it too far. But if you want people to practice the disposition of ganging up on people, or if you want them to practice really enjoying throwing things at people like that, it can lead to all sorts of other things in the future. So if you actually look at the National Post article that was published on this just yesterday in the comments section, you see exactly what the problem is. All of these people saying, I loved dodgeball when I was a kid, and then proceeding to just vent all of this just pure discomfort and anger, you know, and it's because it's easy to do that if you've been practicing letting out your anger like that for a very long time. Is it anger or is it just a competitive spirit? Well, the competitive spirit can be competitive in the sense of helping people do something and trying to do the best job of it, or it could be competitive in the sense that we're trying to isolate particular persons, you know, especially the smaller kid in the class who's already bullied for being small ends up being the one that gets ganged up on in dodgeball. So what do you want to see happen as a result of this report that you are presenting? For the most part, what you want teachers to do in particular is to think very carefully about the kinds of lessons a game is meant to convey to students. So if you're choosing dodgeball, I think you have a responsibility to children to choose it for a particular reason, to know why you are, and to be clear about what we're trying to learn from it. Yeah, I, I'm sure you heard the lead up. People adults sign up to play this game. Mm. So how damaging could it really have been if they want to play it when they're all grown up and they're off this schoolyard? Well, of course, adults in a free society can do as they please, and I wouldn't pass judgment on those kinds of adult recreational activities. But that's a really different thing from a, a mandated activity in a public school, because of course we all must go to public school. And if I were to say to you that you must play dodgeball during the course of your workday, you'd probably say that's not appropriate. You can't force me to do that. I need to choose and I need to know why. I'm glad you came on. This is such a great talker. David Burns, really appreciate you being with us. I hated dodgeball, but I, I'm glad that you played along with us for this. Uh, all the best. Appreciate your time.